Hello Year 6 and welcome to Tuesday 19th of May's English task and today you're going to be choosing vocabulary very carefully to make sure that um, the meaning is really really clear. So I'd like to have a little think back to um, Darwin and what we found out about him yesterday. Okay now the question I'm going to ask you in particular is did he really describe the samples very carefully that he sent back to England? He didn't. Do you remember the one that he sent back that his tutor said looked like an explosion of soot? So why is it important to describe these samples carefully? Can you think of any reasons? So for a minute, just have a little think. And now either say out loud or say to somebody you're sat with why it's important to describe the samples carefully. OK, so today we're going to practice um, making a herbarium and we're going to use our vocabulary very, very carefully to make sure that we give a very clear description of the plants. Now, a herbarium, let's just remind ourselves what that is. We looked at it yesterday in the PowerPoint, so have a look at this slide. Do you remember it? Let's have a closer look. So it's a record, a record of a plant. And you can see this is one that um, Darwin collected from the Galapagos Islands. And it's really important, this one, because the plant is actually now extinct. OK. We're going to use precise language so the samples can be matched up with the description. So just imagine if that leaf had become, um, uh, it's come away from the paper that it was attached to. You would want to have a clear description so you could match them up. So that's what we're going to do today. So let's start by looking at the samples. Now these are samples that I collected from my garden. I didn't collect them from the park because I didn't know if I was allowed to, so I collected them just from the garden. And another thing I know about the plants in the garden is I know they're safe for me to pick up or not. Okay, so here's one of the samples. Here's another. Now you may know what some of these are, you may not, it doesn't really matter. Do you think Darwin knew what all the samples were that he was looking at? No, he probably didn't. What we have to do is to be able to describe. So, lots there for us to look at and you're going to have these photographs saved for you on the website in Term 5, Week 5, Tuesday. So if you'd like to use one of these leaves to make your herbarium, you'd be very welcome to. You could either print it off or draw it. Either would be absolutely fine. So let's start by looking at the sample in a bit more detail. Right, is it simple or compound? Now a simple leaf is a leaf that's um, attached to a stalk, just one leaf attached to a stalk. Now a compound leaf has a stalk with several leaves or leaflets attached to it. So let's have a look which ones are simple. Which ones do you think are simple? You might want to pause the video and, and discuss this. Okay, so I've highlighted the leaves. Now, the other two are compound. There's this, um, several leaves or leaflets made up uh, coming from one stalk. Okay. So here's my leaf that I'm going to be looking at. Now that leaf, as we can see, is it simple or is it compound? Yep, yeah, that's right, it is a simple leaf. So now the leaf shape. Now, just as the leaf pictures are going to be available for you to download, so will my leaf shape chart. You'll be able to have that to decide what shape your leaf is. So what shape do you think my leaf is? Pause the video and see if you can spot it. OK, so I decided my leaf shape was elliptic. Did you decide the same? Some of them are quite similar, aren't they? And it's difficult to to decide exactly, but just get as close as you possibly can. So there's some new language for us and it's quite precise and it will help us paint a very clear picture of the leaf. Let's move on. Leaf margin. Now the leaf margin is what we might call as the edge. Now there's several there for us to look at, aren't there? Several types. Have a look at my photo, particularly the shadow. I found the shadow very helpful and decide what leaf margin we have here. It might help to pause the video while you decide. 
Okay, let's see if we both agreed. I thought it was a serrate with the teeth pointing forward. You did as well. So a serrated edge there, a bit like a knife, all the, uh, all the teeth pointing forward. Okay, so now we've got our leaf shape and we've got our leaf. Now, Venetian. It sounds a bit like Venetian, doesn't it? But it's got nothing to do with coming from Venice. It means, it's relating to the veins and it's about how the veins are arranged. So you need to look quite carefully at my leaf. If you had a leaf of your own, sometimes it's really helpful to turn it over. But I think we can make out on this leaf. So have a look at the, vein, the veins. I can see some bigger veins and some smaller ones that are a bit darker crisscrossing. So have a look and see what you, can, what you think. Did you agree that it's cross venulate? It's quite hard that one, isn't it? But again, just have your best go. Okay. So what other details could we add about our leaf? Okay. Don't forget to say, of course, if it's compound or simple, will you? But we could talk about the epidermis. What is the epidermis? Can you have a good guess? So the epidermis is the scientific name for the skin. Now if you have a good look at the, the leaf, if you pick one yourself, you could see it might be glossy, it may be hairy, it may be waxy. This one that I was looking at was quite a glossy leaf. What could you tell us about the size or the colour of the leaf? This is another important detail. Where was the sample found and who found the sample? So is it somewhere that was sunny? Is it somewhere that was rocky? Is it somewhere that was in underneath other trees? Okay. So now you're gonna have a go at making your herbarium. So this is an example that I've made for you already. Is it precise and technical? Have you described in as much detail as you can? So let's have a look. Let's see how we've got on. So in this example, I tell you who found it, me, and where I found it, in my garden, and when. We mention if it's simple or compound. Do you remember we talked about the epidermis? Do you remember what the epidermis is? Yeah, it's the skin. So I've created a couple of sentences there relating to the epidermis. What about the stalk? You can get quite a lot of information about the stalk. We talked about size. It'd be good to know how long it is and how wide it is. There we have the shape. Don't forget to look at the chart. It will be saved on the website. What about the margin? Do you remember what the margin is again? Yes, the edge. What about the veins? What kind of pattern do they create? Don't forget that that will be available for you to look at on the website too. Okay, so you might want to pause it and just make sure you know what you're doing. And if you'd like any of the extra resources, if you go to English Term 5, Week 5, you'll find on Tuesday, Day 2, some resources there to help you. Okay, we look forward to seeing some of your herbariums.